So this is Bill. I'm screwing around with Jonathan from MailRite. He's got a couple of podcasts. And we're just looking at, I should have written these down, four ways that you can actually get lead generation on a website. And I asked this on this website, if I can find it. My Reno, my Reno, my Reno homes for sale. So Jonathan has built this website. And he says there's four ways. Jonathan, you can talk if you want to say something. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bill. So show up. So you say show up in Google search. Uh, for lead generation, Google Maps, which we could look at that. Map pack. What is Google Map pack? It's, it varies because it will show. Sometimes it shows up on your desktop, then, but it's mostly focused on map pack when you're using your phone. Most real estate searches are done on a phone. That's a blog. Uh, and no, that basically, it's um, Google shows when you do a search, and it senses it, you're using a mobile device which can share its IP address by mm -hmm. your location. It will show you right the, here. It will show you a map of the top five agents that are nearest to where your phone's saying where you are. So I could could have hooked up my phone to this to record my phone too. You don't say Bill. I could have actually thrown the phone if I'd known that. So anyway, that's good. I didn't understand that. A Google Mac pep evergreen content is I thought evergreen would just be blogging. No, it's a, interchangeable but i do see a clear difference between blogging and evergreen so where's evergreen, the evergreen on this other than evergreen, that the evergreen go right to the top navigation evergreen is explore northern nevada and see okay that's what you're calling evergreen right here i know this one link works no it doesn't go in the middle and you click no, it, it works now it just didn't work down below it's always worked Bill. well you had to go up above so that's your evergreen right there i always thought a blog and there's no here's a blog right here You've added some blog articles on there. So that's the blog. And that blog can turn into Evergreen too. So But it, the main difference between Evergreen well, and Blogging. Oh, we got this other screen recording at the same time. Yeah. The main difference between Evergreen and Blog is the Evergreen is more static content, which um isn't time related or um basically and it's more static content. And it's normally a, with a real estate focus, it's more around reviews of particular cities, reviews of schools, mm -hmm. anything that somebody would want to know about a particular area. That's yeah. what I call evergreen content, where blogging, blogging is more... Uh, more about what's going on at the present moment, about... Um, but they are interchangeable, but I do see a, a clear difference between the two. Yep. So here's an example. Also, you didn't have it on the site, but YouTube, the, the YouTube video is the other one. Well, I think you, you know, obviously um, no. to, you know, people are hiring a real estate agent. Um, so they like to see the agent on video on their website utilizing the video for your youtube channel for your social media it, you can multi-purpose it so video it kind of can be utilizing obviously one of the other factors of having a decent website is that you know most of the people that you meet are going to check you out some more um on your website so the more video you have on the website the more personable it makes it mm -hmm. so this is this would be your go google local search for, i think it's yeah this is what it is and it explains it here and this is what you ended up with over here for the local search over it's here mixed. so when they so so the advert puts you on top of that the search pack if you slot if you scroll back up to the top now down a little bit we down a little bit more. So when you do do your search using your mobile phone, oh, yeah, right that, that's what's going to come up. There's and the if you pay, they make sure that you come up more regular and you're number one, right? Yeah. And when they click call, the call, you the phone number that you put in is the phone number that Google, that the actual prospect will be sent to call you the agent. So the last question, question, do you have anything else you want to add to these elements that you talked about? 
Well, like I said to you, with lead generation, I'm a big fan of the, these Google local adverts. Um, I am because too. the prospect is phoning you, the agent, directly. It's very similar to Zillow, really, but it's through Google. They are, they are high quality leads, but, um, but they're going to cost between 30 to $70 every time. But the one thing I didn't point out to you, Bill, I should have pointed this out, is that um, Google gives a guarantee. So if the person rings you and they're not a serious they're not seriously looking to sell or buy and you go back to Google they will give you your money back. Interesting. So Yeah. 